Team Trees has a goal of planting 20 million trees to help fight climate change. But that begs the question of how do trees actually fight climate change? So let's explore this question. As you may know, the main contributor to climate change is the historically high level of carbon dioxide, or CO2, in the atmosphere, which is a result of burning fossil fuels. To fight climate change, there are two key efforts. The first is to reduce the quantity of fossil fuels burnt, and the second is to find ways to take the CO2 already released in the atmosphere and store or sequester it. Now if only there were a way for a machine or maybe an organism that could take in CO2 and store it. Well, that's where planting trees comes into play. When you look at a massive 80-foot tree, what you're really looking at is a massive structure that is mostly just carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Let's take a look at the trunk of this tree. Aside from water, a lot of the mass inside the trunk is composed of cellulose, which is made of long chains of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. All of these atoms circled here are carbon, and every single one of these atoms of carbon was once CO2 in the atmosphere. As a tree grows from a small sapling into a massive tree, it's fighting climate change by removing tons of CO2 in the atmosphere, and then using it as a key building block in every single one of its cells. So then, the next question is, how does a tree actually accomplish the extraction of CO2 from the atmosphere in order to grow? Well, the super short explanation is photosynthesis. The leaves of the tree combine CO2 with both water pulled up from the roots and energy from the sunlight and then turn them into glucose and oxygen as a byproduct. This glucose is then transported throughout the tree and used as energy and also for providing the molecular building blocks which grow more leaves, branches, rings around the tree trunk, and deeper roots. Here on the left we have CO2 in the atmosphere and water from the roots. In the middle we have glucose, and then on the right we have cellulose which is found in every single one of the plant's cells. This process of turning CO2, water and energy from the sun into glucose and oxygen, and then turning glucose into cellulose and growing larger and larger until it is a massive tree, is what trees do best. And you can see how all of these carbon atoms in every plant cell of the tree once came from CO2 in the atmosphere. So then, if we want to remove CO2 from the atmosphere to help curb climate change, and knowing that every tree is just a massive structure created from CO2, light, and water, a key solution is to plant millions of trees. And that's where you come into play. Team Trees is asking you to contribute to the Arbor Day Foundation to help plant 20 million trees by 2020. One dollar will plant one tree, so every donation helps. Take a look at the link below and join the effort.